Hey everyone, it's the Casual Air Gunner, and today I'll be doing another chronograph video looking into multi pump air guns. And today I'll be looking at the Crossman American Classic in 177. Unlike the Daisy 880 and the Crossman 760, the American Classic is an air pistol. But how will it measure up to its rifle cousins, and how fast is it per pump? Well, today I'm going to find out. As with my previous chronograph videos, I'll be using my chronograph off wish that only shows velocity in meters per second. So during the editing, I'll convert it from meters per second to feet per second in the captions. The ammo I'll be testing it with is these H&N Barracuda Greens, which weigh 6.48 grains. So it's an alloy pellet that's light, but not super light. The gun's box says it'll reach up to 600 feet per second with lead pellets, so if that's what it claims, it should have no problem reaching 600 feet per second with these, because there are lead pellets that weigh this much out there, they're just very light lead pellets. And then I'll also be testing it at 10 pumps with these 4.3 grain Gamo Air Stars, which are the lightest pellet that I know of. This is just to see how fast this gun can really get with the lightest pellet on the market. My setup here is a backstop consisting of my high-tech newspaper-filled pellet stopper, since believe it or not, paper is actually pretty good at stopping both pellets and bullets, and a layer of wrapped Kevlar, which is rated to stop 9mm handgun ammo. So it's going to have no problem stopping any of these airgun pellets in and of itself. To start us off, I'll begin at the minimum, which is three pumps. It looks like with the H&N Barracuda Greens, the Crossman American Classic got close, but didn't quite reach 600. So now let's see if it'll do it with the Gamo Air Stars. Now this is a surprising result because it seems like the Crossman American Classic Air Pistol is actually more powerful than the Crossman Pumpmaster 60 Air Rifle. I honestly never would have expected this, but that's why experiments like these can actually reveal a lot. For a gun of its size and caliber, the Crossman American Classic packs quite a punch. It still isn't as powerful as the Daisy 880, but it's surprisingly more powerful than the Crossman 760. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did, and check out my channel if arrogance are your thing, and thanks for watching.